In this video, we'll have a look at the Microsoft Applied Skills, Azure Files and Azure Blob Storage. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. In October 2023, Microsoft announced Microsoft Applied Skills, a new credential. So unlike the other type of exams where you have to sit an exam which is proctored, somebody looking at you through a camera, for example, in the Microsoft Applied Skills, instead of going for a multiple choice A, B, C, D, or can you get these actions in order, you actually have to do the skills. So it is an applied skills. So you're given a series of tasks for you to do. In this video, we're going to have a look at one of the currently 13 applied skills which are available, but that will increase very quickly. There are plans for another six, for example. And this skill that we're going to look at is the secure storage for Azure files and Azure blob storage. So if you have a look at the tasks that you need to perform, you need to create and configure a storage account. So this is a holder for your containers, for your blob storage, and also for your file shares. You need to create and configure blob storage. You need to create and configure Azure files. You need to be able to configure the encryption for the storage account and for individual containers, and also configure networking for storage. So here I am in the portal for Azure. So first of all, I'm going to create a storage account. So I'll go to top, click on storage accounts and click create. So we need a subscription. Well, I've created a subscription called Microsoft Applied Skills and a resource group. So I'll create a resource group called MAS and a storage account name. So I'll call it MAS as well with some numbers afterwards to make it unique. You should also say what performance you want. Do you need really low latency? In which case you then have to choose what type of account you want or do you want a standard account which is useful for most scenarios and also the redundancy. So in other words, whether it is going to be backed up in one warehouse or three warehouses in the one region or in multiple regions. And whether also to make the second region read accessible. You then also need to have a look at the advanced options such as enabling anonymous access on individual containers. And if you are going to do this yourself, have a look at all of these eyes, have a look at all of the notes that are being displayed for each of these options. And you can also say what the access tier is. So you can set while creating the storage account hot and cool, but you may be able to use cold as well. And you will be able to use archive once the storage account has been set up. However, they have different pricing models and minimum storage charges. You can also have a look at networking. So you can say you want everybody to be able to access as long as they authenticate correctly, or just from selected virtual networks and IP addresses, or just using private access. You can also say, well, if something gets deleted, then I want it to only be soft deleted so I can undelete it within seven days, for example. I can also enable versioning for blobs. So if I upload something and then upload something which is the same name, it will keep both versions. Only one will be active, but it will say both versions are to be kept. And also there's something called immutability. So that means that nothing can be deleted or changed unless there are certain parameters. So for example, don't delete anything within two days or just keep a legal hold until further notice. In encryption, you can say how you want it to be encrypted. Do you want Microsoft to manage it or do you want you to manage it within, for example, a key vault or hardware? And do you want it to be double encrypted using infrastructure encryption? So I'm going to click on review and I'm going to create this storage account. So I'll just pause the video until it's created. Now it's been created, we'll go to the resource and I'll create a container for my blobs. Blobs are short for binary large object. So if I create a new container, so I'll call this container one and it's going to have no anonymous access unless I allow the storage account 
to have anonymous access. I'll go into the container and I will upload, click browse for files, a photograph. So here we've got photo one, for instance, I will upload that, click upload. And here you will see my photo one on a hot access tier. So that is the one where storage costs costs the most, but access costs the least. And I can view my photograph by going to edit. And here we can see a photograph. And I can also generate a shared access signature, an SAS. So if I click on that, here is my URL. So if I copy that and I add a new in private window and paste, I will be able to access my photograph. I can also change the access to a Microsoft Entra user account. Microsoft Entra is the new name for Microsoft Active Directory. If I go back to the storage account, I can also create a file share as well. So file shares allow me to upload files, but they also allow me to create directories as well. Now for the rest of the requirements for the Microsoft Applied Skills, we need to look on the left hand side of the storage account. So we have access control. So that is useful if you are using Microsoft Entra access. So you can grant access to individual resources. Going down in security and networking, this is useful to change the public network access from all networks to selected virtual networks and IP addresses. And we've seen something similar to this when creating the storage account. Make sure you click save when you make all of your changes. We've got the access keys. So this probably shouldn't be used as much, but you do need to have knowledge that the keys exist, which allow somebody access to the entirety of the storage account. We can set up a shared access signature for the storage account, as well as individual files. And you can also do it for individual containers as well. Looking at redundancy. So this allows us to say what sort of redundancy we want. So here are your various options. So local, in other words, one region or geo redundant, two regions. So here we can see we've got geo redundant storage in the East US and the West US. We've got data protection. So this allows you to enable soft delete for blobs, for example, and versioning. We can also enable Azure Backup and Point in Time Restore. So Azure Backup backs up your individual blobs. Point in Time Restore, it allows us to go back to say how the container was looking yesterday at 11.45 a.m. We can also replicate your objects. So from one storage account container to another container in a different storage account. If I go down to settings and configuration, here you can see we can allow blob anonymous access for the storage account. Now, if I was to go enabled on this, this doesn't mean that everything everybody can read we would then have to go into each individual container and say whether we want anonymous access or not. We can also change the blob access tier by default. And also if we go into the container, so if we go into an individual container and here we have a photograph, there's a dot, dot, dot on the right hand side. And this is when we can change the tier or create a snapshot for any individual item. So if I click change tier, we can change an individual item from hot to cool, cold or archive. Cold might not be available in all regions. So an understanding of all of these individual settings is needed for the Microsoft Applied Skills. So how can you get that knowledge? Well, first of all, you can have a look at the Microsoft Applied Skills page itself. There is a learning path. So these are modules which have been taken from other users and added to the learning path for this Microsoft Applied Skills certification. Now, I would say, make sure you keep in mind the tasks performed and the fact that you probably only have to do it in the GUI, the graphic user interface. So some of these individual items, they require knowledge of much higher things such as PowerShell. You won't need that for this Microsoft Applied Skills. It doesn't say anywhere you need to know about PowerShell, for example. Now, the best part of this learning path is the guided project. This has been specially created for this 
Microsoft Applied Skills. So if you are able to do this guided project, then you should be on track to be able to do the Microsoft Applied Skills. Alternatively, another way of learning all of these skills is in our new video course. Now, this has been created specifically to enable you to be able to learn the skills that you need for the Microsoft Applied Skills Secure Storage for Azure Files and Azure Blob Storage. So let's have a look at what you'd learn in around two and a half hours, plus time for you to do the practice activities. So first of all, we'll quickly create a storage account and a container uploading a file, basically the same sort of thing that we have done in this video. And then I'll ask you to do it yourself. So this is part of the Microsoft Applied Skills. You need to know not just how to do it, but to actually do it. Then we'll have a look in some detail about the configuration of the storage account. For example, what is the difference between LRS, ZRS or ZRS, GRS and GZRS? What's the difference between standard and premium performance and when should you go for the premium? What are the access tiers and why should you be interested in them? Then we'll have a look at blob configuration. So we'll have a look at access tiers and lifecycle management. So that's the automatic moving of blobs from say hot to cold or to cool or to archive soft deleting and versioning. And again, I'll ask you to practice the skills that you have just learned. Then we'll have a look at protecting your data and file shares. So object replication, protect your data, data retention policies. And we've got both types of encryption. Firstly, the standard encryption at rest and then infrastructure encryption. So this is the second type of encryption and how you can put encryption onto individual containers. And then finally, we'll have a look at authentication and accessing the data. So allowing everybody to be able to access your data and then narrowing it down using shared access signatures, enter ID and virtual networks. By the end of this course, you should be in a position to take the assessment for the secured storage for Azure files and Azure blob storage. I would advise you to do the practice activities again and also have a look at the guided project in the Microsoft Learning Path. For more information about this course and for voucher code, please have a look at the description to this course. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and have learned a bit more about the Microsoft Applied Skills for Azure Files and Azure Blob Storage. If you did like this video, then please give it a like and why not subscribe and click that bell. There'll be plenty more videos on Microsoft Applied Skills coming up in this YouTube channel. Don't forget to check the description for a link to this course and I hope to see you in the course. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.